triangles. In any triangle, the sum of all angles is 180 degrees. For example here, this triangle, one angle is 50, the other one is 85. We're looking for the third angle. So we know that the sum of these three, so the sum of 50 plus 85 plus the angle that is missing, let's say this x, is 180. So 180 minus these two, the sum of these two, which is 135, is 45. So this angle is 45 degrees. Take a look at this one. 70 plus 65 plus x, we don't know the value, is 180 degrees. So 180 minus the sum of these two, 70 plus 65 is 135. So again, it is 45 degrees. Okay, to find the area of a triangle, we need to have the base and the height. So height is the lines perpendicular to the base. The formula is this, area of a triangle is one half times base times height. Or just multiply the base and height divided by two. For example here, the height is six, so the area is one half times base is 17 times six centimeter. So one half times six is three, three times 17 is 51. So it is 51 centimeter square. We also have two special right triangles. One of them here is isosceles right triangle. So for isosceles right triangle, if you have isosceles right triangle, we have, this one is 90 degrees. Then this leg and this leg, they're equal. So if you have one leg here, you can multiply by root two to get the hypotenuse. To find the hypotenuse, just multiply one leg by the root two. For example, let's say that we have a right triangle like this. Let's say it is isosceles right triangle. And one leg is, let's say, four. So if it is a right triangle and it's isosceles, this one is also four. So the hypotenuse is actually four root two. The next special right triangle is here. It is a 30, 60, 90 degrees right triangle. So 30, 60, 90, 90 is here. So any triangle that has a 90 degrees angle is a right triangle. Then there's a relationship between these three sides. The opposite of 30 degrees is the smallest side. Let's say that is A. Then the hypotenuse is just twice of this side. So that one is 2A. So it is A, 2A. And then if you have A here, the opposite of 30 degrees, finding the opposite of 60 degrees is easy. The opposite of 60 degrees is this one, just multiply by root 3. So that one is root 3a. So for example, you have a right triangle here. Let's say this one is a 30, 60. This is, let's say, 30. And that one is 60. And this one is a 90 degrees. So if you have this side, let's say that one is 3 centimeter. Then the hypotenuse is twice of it which is 6, then the opposite of 60 is just 3 root 3. So the opposite of 30 times the root 3 here, times root 3, you can find the opposite of 60 degrees. 